God, our Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Mike Salmon here from Harvest Christian Fellowship. I pray everyone is having a good morning and a good day today. Today I was reading in um, 2 Chronicles chapter uh, 32 in the reference to King Hezekiah. We've kind of talked a little bit about that. Um, so, uh, But before I get into that, I just want to make a couple of announcements. Uh, I pray everyone is doing well. I pray uh, you guys are, are taking your vitamin C exercising uh, getting enough rest getting your immune system built up this is very very important in our life not only now but always okay this is not just a, a one thing now this is an always thing um, um, very again important that we take care of our health and that we do what we need to do uh, by doing by eating right and exercising and uh, staying active okay so I want to encourage Harvest Christian Fellowship family uh, friends, acquaintances, anyone watching this to remember to stay healthy, eat right, keep your immune system built up and everything, okay? So it's not too late to do that. I understand that, you know, um, you know, viruses, not just COVID, COVID, but any viruses, colds, flus, anything that's out there, you want to keep your body healthy. And then on top of that, you want to make sure that you're you know, you're healthy enough to endure, to be able to praise God, to pray, to, to stay focused on the things of God. And health is very, very important. And, and um, that way you get longevity in your life. You know, you get uh, a long life, a good life, a healthy life. And on top of that, uh, good health and exercise also helps you mentally, okay, mentally. To focus, to pray, to seek God. These are very, very important, okay? The Bible talks about, and we kind of spoke about that last Sunday. The Bible talks about how uh, physical exercise profits little, but it does profit. It does profit. And, and how the Bible does talk about how it's very, very important for us to continue exercising or, you know, continue uh, treating our body as, as it's the temple of the Holy Spirit. I mean, the Holy Spirit dwells in us. So very, very important. So take care of yourselves. Um, other than that, we uh, don't really have a lot of announcements. I understand that uh, a lot of the uh, pandemic out there and the things that are going on in this world are, are crazy. Um, uh, people are staying home, which is important to do stay home. Um, watch out for yourselves. Uh, there's only 1,600 cases, I think, fifteen or 1,600 cases in Arizona. Okay, that's... I mean, the chances of running into people who have it is, is slim to none, but nonetheless, uh, our country and our nation is trying to make sure that we are not spreading it further, okay, because it can be spread more. Um, I do want to remind all our Harvest Christian Fellowship members, um, if you are struggling or you need help, uh, toilet paper, obviously now it's all full, water, all the, anything that you may need for Harvest Christian Fellowship members, please give the, the church a call, give us a call, and we will get that out to you, okay? Um, if you are uh, elderly in the church or you have health risks and you need someone to go shopping for you, please let us know. We have a team that will do that also. We go shopping um, at least twice a week uh, for the restaurant, for our offices, and if we need to, we'll stop and grab something for you. You just let us know what you need and we will get it for you. That's what we're here for. So let us know, okay? We're here for you guys. Um, Harvest Christian Fellowship members, that's what we do. That's what we're called to do. As a fellowship, we are a community of believers uh, brought into this community for a reason, okay? So um, let us know. Nonetheless, we're talking about uh, Hezekiah, Second Chronicles chapter 33. Hezekiah is um, is surrounded. He's the king of Judah, and he's surrounded by uh, the king of Assyria. And the king of Assyrians, uh, uh, king of Assyria, is surrounding Judah at this time, and is going to want to come in there and annihilate them. But God had a different plan, and He calls Isaiah to prophesy to King Hezekiah and says, "Listen, tell King Hezekiah not one arrow will touch this place." and and uh, to make a long story short, when the next morning when they got up, 185,000 Assyrians were dead on the other side of the wall. 185,000 Assyrians were dead. And just like that, Assyria that was there was gone. And so it is in our life when the enemy may surround us and, and encompass us and, and, and lay siege over us. But with God, he can just like that be gone. Just like that. 
okay? Just like that, okay? So we give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. And in your life, just remember to seek God, to remember that he is your defender. He's your, your redeemer. He's the one who protects you. He's your protector. He is the Lord God, and there's no one greater and mightier than him. So serve him. Uh, seek his face uh, during these days and during these times. Amen. And we'll continue keeping you in prayer and keeping us all in prayer. We are uh, still at Lake Pleasant. I have been back and forth in the city. Uh, but, uh, of course, we're enjoying this beautiful out here and just really, really serene and time where we just focus on God and just enjoy the outdoors. And, of course, having allergies on the outdoors is kind of tough, especially in Lake Pleasant very very windy uh, well not very windy but windy all the time which is nice it's a nice breeze but with everything blooming um sometimes your your nose gets kind of you know but nonetheless uh it is beautiful out here it's nice and uh did a lot of fishing here and then spending time in the lake uh, just really uh looking at the majesty of majesties of god and his beauty and uh, let me just let you know uh we've been we continue to pray for each and every one of you every day. We pray for you guys. And uh, we ask you to pray for us. Pray for your leaders. Pray for your pastors. Uh, that God gives us wisdom uh, during these times. And uh, that we can continue reaching people for the kingdom of God. Christ be with you. Let me pray with you. Father God, I just pray right now. Father, I just ask you, Father, that you will just touch the hearts of your people. Father, that you will move through us, Lord God, as we seek your face. We love you, God. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you do. Be with our families, our friends. Uh, guide us. Put your hedge of protection around us. Give us good health. Uh, protect us uh, in our health, Father God. We love you. We thank you. There's no one greater and mightier than you. We thank you for the blood of your son, Yeshua Mashiach, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. We love you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, Christ be with you. Again, we're praying. Uh, for you, and please pray for us. See you soon.